Hi everyone, this is Mother B. So today, I'll be sharing a yummy and easy and quick chocolate recipe using Calibo chocolates. So, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications for new future videos. This video is brought to you by Calibo Chocolates. Today, we will be making Chocolate Supreme Tres Leches. So let's get started. Let's start with the chocolate base cake. Sa first bowl po, gagawin natin, imimix natin lahat ng dry ingredients. Sifted na po yung cake flour ko. Then, yung cocoa powder o cocoa. I'm trying to melt yung Calibout Dark Chocolate sa hot water. Pero pwede rin naman po sa microwave. Mga around 30 seconds, then mix, then 30 seconds. So, set aside muna natin. So, baking powder. Baking soda. Then, we have our salt. Tapos, haluin lang po natin. The purpose nito is para bago po natin lagyan ng mga liquid ingredients, well distributed po doon sa mixture yung salt, baking soda, baking powder. Kasi kung hahaluin natin, parang ilalagay natin sa isang bowl kasama na yung liquid, um, hindi po evenly distributed. So, tendency may, may area na mas maumbok or may, may area na mas maalat. Something like that. So, uneven. Magiging cause po siya ng unevenness sa texture sa alsa ng product. Ugaliin po na gumawa po muna tayo ng premix. Pwede pong ahead of time, i-mix nyo na yung lahat ng dry ingredients. Lagay nyo sa container. Tapos, lagyan nyo ng pangalan kung para sa ang product. Then, kung anong date nyo ginawa. So, this one, ideally, tumatagal po siya after 6 months. Kaya lang, since mainit po ang lugar ng Philippines, is mas maganda po kung you mix as often as you can. So, ibig sabihin, Pwedeng pang one week lang or good for two weeks yung kung lagi kayong may order ng ganitong product. So, put it aside in another bowl. Imimix naman po natin yung lahat ng liquid ingredient. Egg yolk. Then, add the vegetable oil. Bakit ko po pinagmix muna yung egg yolk tsaka oil? Kasi yung egg yolk mataas sa fat. So, para mag-emulsify agad yung fat at tsaka yung egg yolk, we'll mix it together. So, mapapansin nyo po, nag-emulsify na kagad kasi mataas ang fat ng egg yolk. So, itong coffee. We'll add 1 tablespoon of boiling water or hot water. Just to dilute yung coffee. So, instant coffee po ito. Kung may kakain pong bata, edi eh pwede nyo na pong iumit itong coffee. Or pwede nyo pong palitan ng any hot chocolate drink powder. So, kunin po natin para malusaw agad yung chocolate ko. Ilalagay ko na po yung mainit na kape. Mix the coffee solution together with the chocolate until smooth. Since may fat din po yung chocolate, dito po natin idadagdag sa egg yolk and fat or oil mixture. So, 
So, katulad nitong gatas, um, definitely, hindi ganun kadaling sumama. Pero, ilalagay na po natin dahan-dahan. Mapapansin nyo, hindi agad-agad. So, dinadahan-dahan ko lang add para para maganda yung mixture. So, ugaliin po kahit po sa liquid ingredient, pagsamasamahin nyo po muna sila. Ayan. Add 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix together the liquid and the dry ingredients. Mix continuously until smooth and set aside. In a clean bowl, put egg whites that is already tempered at room temperature. Then, idagdag po natin ang cream of tartar. Pag wala po kayong cream of tartar, just substitute it with 1 teaspoon of vinegar or lemon juice or calamansi juice. When the egg white is foamy, dahan-dahan pong idagdag ang fine granulated white sugar. Dahan-dahan lang po ang pag-increase ng speed para maliliit lang yung bubbles na ma-form dun sa egg white. Sa ganung paraan, mas stable po ang ating merang or merengue. So, mararamdaman po ninyo yan, may konting resistance. At pag dinadaan po ninyo yung inyong mixer at a slower speed, makikita ninyo na mag, may ribbon shape na siya. At this stage, pointed na yung pick ng ating egg white, pero hindi pa rin ganun katigas. Kunin po natin ang ating merang, kumuha ng one third part, then idagdag sa chocolate egg yolk mixture. The first mixing is just to lighten up the egg yolk mixture. I-fold hanggang sa makikita ninyo nag-lighten na yung kulay. Then, get another part of the merang and then fold again. And lastly, add the last one-third part of the merang and do the same. Continuously fold it from bottom up hanggang sa iisa na lang po ang kulay. Then, set it aside. Pour the cake mixture into a lined baking pan. Hindi na po kailangan lagyan ng grease yung sides ng pan. I-bake sa oven na nakaset at 150 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Tusok-tusokan po natin ng toothpick or any skewer yung surface ng baked product. Gumawa po ako kanina ng tres leches mixture. Ito po ay gawa sa evaporated milk, 1 fourth cup, condensed milk, 1 fourth cup, thin cream, 1 fourth cup. At ngayon, dadagdagan natin ng 1 fourth cup chocolate ganache. Makikita po ninyo ang link ng video sa description below for the chocolate ganache. Ibuhos po generously sa inyong sponge cake or chiffon cake or depende na po sa inyo kung gaano ka basa or moist ang cake base na gusto ninyo. Put it aside. Chill the Viva Whipping Cream at least 2 hours or overnight. Whip it until it doubles in volume and it's very airy and floppy and stable. Pour the chocolate ganache on top of the chocolate base cake. 
then spread it evenly and thinly dun sa surface. Makikita po ninyo ang link ng video recipe of my chocolate ganache sa description down below. Dagdagan po ng Vivo Whipping Cream yung ibabaw. Pantayin hanggang sa top ng pan. So, we can straighten it up by using a scraper, yung medyo malaki po. And to finish off the cake, isif po natin yung cocoa powder on top of the cake. Just sift it evenly on the surface. Chill the cake overnight para mas madali po nating ma-slice. And the flavor and texture is better after 24 hours. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and follow me in Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day! Bye!